is, is it's not like other museums. Because in this museum you have the link with the, the history of ceramics and um, this brings you in a special atmosphere, a special place where you can see from the beginning of the ceramic to the contemporary ceramic and you can see in one building, in one, one big space all together. And it's very, it gives you the sense that you can move from the source to, to, to the contemporary results. And all of these together is, is it, it's, it's special, it's different. If you go to a museum of contemporary art, you only have the contemporary art. Um, but there's something about, in my work, it's very important to have the, the basis, the, 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 the starting point of this, uh, of this ceramic and this culture. It's part of my work also to study on the past and um, for me it's very important. It makes it, it makes it bigger, complete, more complete. That's, that's, that's the right word, I think. In a gallery you also, you, you always have the reality of, it's a place of selling. There's, there's uh, art is there to be sold. It's a, a commercial place. This is a protected place. This is where you, as an artist, have the freedom to experience. And you don't have to think about selling. And there's interaction with the curators, there's interaction with the visitors. And it's, it's about the art and the objects and the right atmosphere in combination again with, with the history of the ceramics. And, and this is wonderful. What is really specific here is the I think they have a lot of uh, Italian Maiolica, which is very interesting to see. And um, I saw a lot of Delft also, and, and the collection of um, Arab uh, ceramic, the, the early uh, Islamic uh, pottery. Is, uh, these are pieces that I love very much. I'm a collector myself. I had to look when I was rather young, I was still a student in the city of Ghent, when I did a pretty important archaeological find. And from that point on, I was addicted to, uh, to the history of ceramic. I had the feeling by getting this old vessel, this intact vessel from 16th century out of the ground, it gave me the feeling of time traveling, of um, uh, the mysterious, the mystery of the, the ceramic, the technique, the dreaming about the person who made the, the piece. And from that point on, my interest in ceramic was enormous and it didn't stop. My sculptures, they are made as friends. And the, the things that I collect, I'm friends with the makers of them. And even if they are 15th century, or if they are 9th century, very early Islamic work, it's like there's a universal language. It's like we, in my imagination, we have the same things we think about. We have the same longing for uh, making beautiful things. We are uh, addicted to some sort of beauty and uh, poetry. And uh, voila, I'm very thankful that I'm able to, to live with this art. <laughs>